you very much, Sanjeev Yusuf uh, Kalani, for your uh, very insightful talk on a very, very crucial topic of our times: democracy, peace, and world power. Uh, you have been the Prime Minister of our country, who completed yet about the full term, and you were elected unanimous. You have been a recognized, reputed political leader throughout your life, and you have served long sentence in jail and paid a heavy price due to your political commitment. You refused to bargain and negotiate with the governments, and you preferred to be in jail rather than bargain your exit and your release from the jail. So I feel that in you we have a prime minister who whom we can be really proud of because he he has been the unanimously elected or nominated prime minister of Pakistan and I believe that it will be he will be the only one in the history of Pakistan I don't foresee anyone else beating this record so you have a record which is unbeatable for all times and this is a great stature that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has graciously bestowed upon yourself and this is due to your service to the nation I also would like to commend and I have been discussing that and mentioning that throughout my throughout your tenure as well and even afterwards that it was your government which reinstated the constitution of Pakistan in its original shape this constitution was first of all formulated and made by the first government of Pakistan People's Party when Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto was the Prime Minister. It was the honor, it was the honor of Prime Minister Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto to give this nation a constitution and he, Abdullah Fais Pirzada, the law minister, young law minister at that time and all throughout the uh, collaboration of all opposition parties Pakistan made for itself a constitution and that gave birth to a new nation in 1973 when that constitution was approved I feel that afterwards this constitution was distorted it was deformed it was I don't want to say but it was raped and it was played and it was uh, you know made to serve the niche the desire of individuals who were dictators and it was the government of again people's party who through the collaboration of all political leaders and all political parties once again refined the constitution I have gone through I have gone through the document which was approved by the National Assembly under your leadership and I feel that that constitution that we have now is even better than the constitution which was approved in, in earlier during the time of Zakabar Ali Bhutto. This constitution, this constitution we have matured ourselves, we have further evolved ourselves and we have reshaped our future and this constitution guarantees the cohesion of Pakistan, the solidarity of Pakistan, it guarantees the togetherness of Pakistan and it guarantees the integrity of Pakistan. You very rightly pointed out, even if we can, if we have a dozen provinces, this constitution is going to keep all of them together under one flag, under one nation. This has the federal stature. This truly 
this truly captures the, the imperatives of a federal government and it gives, it affords the provinces the necessary uh, autonomy that is needed in the Pakistani situation. So I think that the credit goes to your government that you gave this nation another constitution which is further refined and renewed to, for the security of our nation. So with these two great historical achievements, your era as the Prime Minister has, will always be remembered as a service to our nation and our future. And very privately, I would also like to say he was the only Prime Minister who invited me to the Prime Minister house. We had lunch there and believe me, <laughs> twice or three times I went there and I had almost six hours in his room and there were federal ministers who had appointments. There was a long queue and he shunned out everyone and we were there for long hours, a couple of times. It was a great blessing for all of us, for all of us. Thank you very much. Sayyid Yusufza Galani, your visit to UMT was much awaited. It was delayed and you owed it to us to visit UMT. But that visit is still you owe to us. This visit will not, has, has not compensated the visit that we expected of you when you were Prime Minister of Pakistan. We hope that to visit again and to keep up your promise to visit UMT as Prime Minister, you will be the Prime Minister once again so that you can visit UMT and you can keep up your promise